Welcome back to Q&A with Dr. K. Uh, today's question comes from a very sincere reader. Uh, hey, Dr. K, if the whole world became vegan, would we not be overrun by animals? And I've seen that question posed numerous times before. Uh, what is the reality of that? Well, relax. If the whole world became vegan uh, tomorrow, there would not suddenly be cows and pigs uh, running down Main Street in every town in America. Uh, what would happen? Uh, let's just take uh, the longer view and realize the only reason there are now billions and billions of cows and pigs and chickens on planet Earth is because we are breeding them every day. As we are sitting here right now in dairy farms across America, uh, representatives from the animal uh, propagation industry, the artificial insemination industry, uh, is uh, sneaking up on cows locked up in stanchions and ramming bull semen into their uterus and squeezing the bulb and making these cows pregnant. They conceive, uh, they have their, they carry their baby for nine months, give birth to a 65 pound uh, baby calf uh, that they want to nurse, but the farmer takes them away, the milk producer takes them away uh, and sucks the milk off. Uh, well, this calf is now in the world. If it's a uh, if it's a uh, boy calf, it's been 16 weeks in the veal pen before it gets its throat cut and sold as milk-fed veal. But the female calves uh, wind up as four-legged milk pumps to, like their mother, uh, and uh, the dairy herd increases uh, by that um, uh, uh, modality. Uh, the same thing, the pigs are locked up in, uh, in so-called rape racks and inseminated, and so they have their piglets. Uh, we have all these billions of animals because we are making them by the millions every day, every month, every year. So the answer, stop making more of them. Okay? Let's just stop. Stop eating them. Stop making more of them. And that will throttle back on all these new animals. Then what do we do with the millions and billions that we have now? care for them the best we can. Certainly people are not going to stop eating animals altogether. A lot of them are going to uh, uh, still be uh, processed one way or the other, but ideally they would all be shipped out uh, to sanctuaries allowed to live out their lives, separate the boys from the girl, the male cows from the, the, male, the female cows from the male bulls, and with all the animals, the pigs and the lambs and the chickens, etc., separate the males from the females so they stop having more of them and let them die of old age and, and let turn that sad the page on that sad chapter uh, and let the earth heal, let our bodies heal uh, and let our relationship with the animal world heal. So, um, so that's the reality. We wouldn't be overwhelmed by animals. We just have to stop making more of them. I hope that makes it real clear. Uh, a, uh, a healthier, uh, uh, suffering-free future is ours just by changing the... Uh, food choices that we make on a daily basis, pushing that cart down the supermarket aisle or in the restaurant as we give our order. Uh, let's stop generating the, the driving force that is making the animal industry folks make more of these animals. If we stop eating them, they'll stop breeding them. And that's the key uh, for, uh, for lifting this dark chapter of, of animal exploitation off the history of, of 